Let's take a look at project costing client rates or customer rates and salary rates in standard time. You probably already know that standard time has a concept of projects and clients or customers and the ability to invoice those clients. I've got several tabs open at the top that I'd like to take a look at. We've got projects, tasks, time logs, users, and billing rates. I'd like to start with projects because this is where the project costing initially takes place. I've put in client rate, salary rate, and billing method. It turns out that each project has different billing rate and salary rate models that you can use to compute the cost of jobs and to bill customers. If you click on any particular job, over on the right hand side you'll see the billing choices and you can choose to compute the cost of the project by user rates, category rates, by the project rate itself, or by role rates, or people who are performing roles, and by option year rates. And then also different methods for computing the salary. So the base rates that you see are what we would call the project rates. Then you also have user rates, and these are employees that are performing work on the job. They have base rates, which can be overridden as well. You'll notice that they also show up in project tasks. So when you are building up a job with the tasks, you are able to look at the client rate, cost client. If you right click, insert, you'll notice that there are several columns that you can put in. Here's client rate, cost client, cost client actual, cost client remain, salary rate, and cost salary, cost salary actual, and remaining. So lots of columns that you can put in to see the cost of each individual task and then those will roll up to the project level. Time logs are your history of the work you've performed. Those simply reflect the rates you've already chosen. I have put in the client rate and cost client, but you also will notice that you have salary rate and cost salary as well. Those columns are available for you to see and make sure that you have your costing done properly. If you want to override rates, this is where things get more complex, you are able to override project rates or the user rates by project, by user, sometimes into the future for future dates. It all starts with projects, tasks, users, that results in time log, actual costs, you can find all of that in the home all views by just going to the various icons here, projects, tasks, time logs, billing rates, users, and so on. That gives you a little bit of an overview of project costing in standard time. We hope it helps.